tackled between Tomboya and Accra Roads on the upper side of Nairobi's downtown. Luduli Avenue, which is named after former South African anti-apartheid crusader Albert Luthuli, has now acquired a new look after being closed for the last three months to pave way for its redesigning. The Nairobi County government closed a street, which is famous for its cheap electronic shops and noisy matatus, as part of the ongoing efforts to decongest the city. Despite its facelift, the project has attracted its fair share of reactions from those affected by the closure of the road. <laughs> But according to the Nairobi County Executive in charge of roads, Hitan Majevdia, the deconstruction and redesign of the 450 meter long and 50 meter wide road has transformed it into a more safe and accessible road, shedding off its previous tag of an unsafe downtown street. It has also brought down air pollution drastically because this place was full of matatus. It had become like a parking for matatus and those exhaust fumes. Even if you ask the car owners, they had, uh, I mean the shop owners, they had a lot of problem. In the morning when they come, they have to first wipe the suit. Kitambo venyawaku wa metengeneza ukipita kwa hii barabara unakuwa na waswasi. Lakisa yata uneza tembea ukisimamu, ukitaka hata kujipiga picha, ukitaka hata kukaa chini upumzike, uneza pumzika. The facelift which has now been completed until the construction of expanded walkways complete with cabro tires, construction of motorcycle lanes to avoid interference with the pedestrians, as well as planting of trees to give the street a fresh look. Plans to construct a major road connecting Mlolongo to Kangemi are also at an advanced stage, with the project set to be launched soon. On the decongestion of our city, there was a bypass, a dual carriage, mm -hmm. that was supposed to be constructed all the way from Kangemi, going direct to the airport, that was Len 1. Then Len 2 was going all the way to uh, past Mulolongo. When this project was about to start, there was politics from Parliament. Our task force was hurriedly formed up to protect some investors who had encroached on the road reserve. It is a project that has raised mixed reactions from business community and matatu operators in this area. But the county government of Nairobi says more streets have been earmarked for the same. Dan Kaburukei 24, Nairobi County.